Hey guys, it's Jan Charte and I'm back again with another video. I am super excited about today's, what is this, a video? A lesson. A lesson. I'm super excited. I can't even get my words out. We're going to be talking about Skims, Skimberly, Kardashian. She's just making all the money out here and I hate it, but I love it all at the same time because I don't care what anybody has to say about the Kardashian clan. They be getting that money. And I want to get money like that. And if you did not know, they actually, Skims in particular, gives a great roadmap that we could all be using to improve our marketing. So that is what today's lesson is going to be about, okay? channel where we talk about boutiques, e-commerce, business, and all things making money online. So let's start with first and foremost the fact that they utilize pretty much all of the important elements of having a streamlined digital marketing strategy. They don't miss any angles whatsoever from creating consistent content, lead generation, uh, influencer marketing, affiliate marketing, UGC creators, campaigns, so on and so forth. They do it all. If y'all did not know, they launch something every single week. Like, let's start there. Launch strategy. Every single week, they launch something, but they use the same process every single week. It does not matter what product they're launching. It doesn't matter what models they're going to have or what influencers are promoting it it's always the same exact process just selling something different so for me when i look at it it starts on social media i see them start posting the pictures of the new products the models wearing them sometimes there's a celebrity sometimes it's an influencer sometimes it's just a model and sometimes it's kim kardashian herself wearing the products however they showcase a lot of the content a lot of the products in the content leading up to the launch if you look just a little bit above typically in their bio it will say whatever the name of the collection is and it'll say launching on tuesday november 8th or whatever the date is so they make sure that wherever you're reading and wherever you're looking you know what is coming up and they're not trying to force you to think about what has already occurred so that's number two launch strategy they're posting and they change that link in their bio so if you head over to their stories, you look at their stories and it's the same, the content is the same as what's being posted on the feed. So they're showcasing the models again, wearing the products, but this time they're showcasing those products on different bodies. So inclusion, the brand itself is really big on inclusion, but they make sure that they display that as many times as possible over and over again. So you're getting to see all of these different people utilizing or wearing the products and you can see all these different bodies which ultimately helps to create interest and make people want to buy it they literally get to see themselves in that product before it's even available so the cool thing here is lead generation they prioritize lead generation in every single launch so at the end of all of that post all those posts in the stories the last one says sign up to get notified when this launched or sign up to get first dibs when you click that link it does not take you to a page to sign up for their email address or email list. It takes you to a page where you can see all the products, you can see all the colors it's gonna be available in, and then you get to choose the size that you want, and you can sign up to get notified about that product when it launches. So instead of them just launching it, they're like, hey, we wanna let you know in advance that this product or collection is coming, we also want you to go ahead and sign up to get notified when it launches, but here's what's happening on the back end. It's not just a matter of them saying like, oh, we want to make sure you get your hands on it. They also want to like measure the demand for the products. They want to measure the demand of individual colors, of individual sizes, because how many times have you launched something and you felt like you had enough only to find out you didn't have enough? Or you bought something in, let's say, five colors and lo and behold, there's only two out of the five that your audience is actually really interested in. 
So by them having people to not only just sign up to get notified of the launch, but asking people to sign up, up around the color and size that they're interested in, that gives them a greater insight around like what the demand is and what they need to supply, you know, supply and demand, okay? So lead generation is always a component of their launch strategy at all times. Then they incorporate things like influencers and UGC creators and affiliates because we like to see as consumers, we like to see those products on other people. We like to see those products on bodies that look like ours. We don't have a Kim, all of us, we ain't got no Kim Kardashian body, okay? Like that's, that's Kim's body and Kim's body alone. So seeing it on Kim is one thing, but seeing it on somebody who looks like you and has the same body type as you, who is the same height, same uh, clothing size and things like that, increases the likelihood of you buying it because you can envision what it's gonna look like on your body instead of having to look at an unrealistic body in that product. So um, per my last bit of research, their affiliate program is actually like an invite only type of thing. So not everybody can sign up for it. And that's intentional. They want the right people to be able to promote their brand versus like everybody being able to promote their brand. And when you think about the fact that like an affiliate is going to tag you, you really just want if we're being honest, you want a the best representation of your brand possible on the internet. So they're not allowing everybody to be an affiliate and they're not allowing everybody to get paid as a, a result of them promoting the brand because they still wanna be able to use that content in some way if they can. So influencers and UGC creators, on one hand, the influencer is influencing someone else to purchase. A UGC creator is just someone who creates content and they are gonna put those products on. They're gonna, they may share their perspective, but you're not utilizing their content with the hopes that it actually like converts someone. It's just more content that increases the reach and visibility of the launch or the collection, so on and so forth. So let's go into the actual launch. So when the launch actually occurs, guess what? They're sending emails, they're sending text messages, and it's consistent. They're letting you know that this thing has launched, they're letting you know the colors, they're letting you know what other people have had to say, especially if it's a launch that's like a new color palette of something they've already sold, or if they had like a bunch of reviews, they're letting people know like, hey, people love this, this is how many times we've sold it, how many of them we've sold, so on and so forth. So they're utilizing email and text marketing to sell. So there's a video somewhere on this channel about like marketing channels versus sales channels. They use their marketing channels to increase awareness, create interest, and to ultimately help them grow their email list. But once you're on the email list and on the text list, they're using those things to actually drive the sales. So personally, I don't typically go to their social media when things launch. I'm in my emails. I got an email that said, hey, this is available. Or I got a text that says, hey, this is available. And that was what me made me go to their website, AKA their sales channel, to potentially make that purchase. If I don't make the purchase, let's say I just added that product to cart, or maybe I just visited the website, they're running ads to retarget me. They're sending me emails to remind me about the products that I left behind. So they understand the importance of retargeting or remarketing to an audience, even if they don't purchase. And that's somewhere, that's a place in business where a lot of us go wrong. We think that, oh, someone came to my website one time, that should mean that they're gonna purchase. And if they don't purchase, we just take it as is and we don't do anything about it. What you should do about it is continue to mark, market to that audience. Continuous marketing is super duper important when it comes to um, business and creating consistent sales. So the last thing that I'll say about skims is the fact that they continue to market and they understand the importance of creating and keeping momentum, which is part of the reason why they continuously are launching. So something that happens for us as small business owners is we lose momentum a lot faster than we should and we often struggle to recreate or build that momentum back up. So when you're constantly launching, especially when you have a product or a brand that's like a hot commodity or like you know something that people really, really want, it's a lot easier to keep that momentum, whereas when you are not launching as often or you don't understand how to continuously market or you're not sending emails, not sending texts, not continuously running ads, you essentially are eliminating or hindering your ability to stay consistent and to consistently get sales and more importantly, to keep that momentum. So Skims honestly is giving us like a masterclass in marketing all day, every day. It's right in front of your face. It's been in front of your face for years. I've been looking at it for years and every single time I see them do something new, I'm like, let me run to my freaking Shopify store and see if I can do that for myself. What app can I use to help me to do that? There are so many apps 
so many apps and tools and things like that that exist that can help us to expand the reach of our business to help us to increase our sales, increase our average order value, so on and so forth. So definitely go follow Skim, sign up for their emails, sign up for their texts, all those things, just so that you can see it in motion. Now, we've talked about a number of things in this video, affiliate marketing, marketing strategy as a whole, launch strategy, um, affiliate marketing, influencer marketing, UGC creators, ads versus email versus text, so on and so forth. All of those things actually need to work together. So the problem that a lot of people run into is that they have one thing, but they don't have the other thing. Or they use one thing, but they don't use it consistently. And the bigger problem is that they don't actually have a strategy for their business, for their marketing. So I want to invite you guys to join my membership. And you can actually get a free trial if you click the link in the description. Inside my membership, you will find classes about pretty much all of those topics. I would recommend starting with the video all around launch strategy so that you can understand what it takes to create and um, keep momentum. There are classes about influencer marketing, email marketing, um, all things marketing, SEO, so many different things that we've discussed over the course of the last year or two. So click the link in the description if you're interested. If you have any questions, let me know. Just comment and I will get back to you. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time. See ya.